Hello everyone and welcome back to Let's Play Mario vs Donkey Kong. We are now starting up the Fire Mountain. This introduces to us the levitating platforms from lava. Or just it just it just introduces lava. Here we go. And careful not to fall into the lava, because it's instant death if you do. Just in case you haven't played enough video games to It's a very. This part's very simple. It's just showing you how the platforms work. And already we're done with the first part. Let's get the move on to the second part. This part is a little harder because you want to get all the presents and you want an awesome time. You have to do something very tricky. Except for if I do something like that. And honestly, I did not know you could do that. Three, one, finished. And I'm pretty sure this is a record time. Wow, I'm pretty sure I could have I could have done that a lot faster. But enough of talk. Let's save our prize. Right, you want to save the blue one. And two lives are ours. Let's go, 3-2. Alright, the thing about these blocks, they act a little like blobs. And by a little, I mean do not get crushed under them or it's instant death. And also, we... And we also encounter our little bird enemy again. Oh, I hate bird enemies so much. Yes! <laughs> that way I just took is a little bit of a quicker way to go. If you couldn't make it the first time around, just use the platform on the right. This area, you're gonna need to activate the blue switch in order to get to the baby Mario. And once again, I make a mistake. They are not baby Marios, they are mini Marios. Why do I keep calling them baby Marios? Ah! Oh, fine, let's try this again. I hope I did not mess up my time because of that. Oh, barely! I barely made it! Now for our stopping minigame once again. Yes, two laps. Three, three. This introduces rising lava. And we have to start all the way down here. Isn't this fun? Careful of these shy guys, because they spit fire. And fire will instantly kill you, like almost everything else in this game does. Thank you, Toy Ninji. You guys are lifesavers. You guys were annoying in other games, but you're lifesavers here. Alright, this area, just be careful. And by be careful, I mean be careful of the fire. Yes! Get a little bit of thinking. And don't worry about that fireball in the middle because it can't touch you here. And I hope I made that. I really hope I made that. And I did. This is going very well considering last time. And it got DK. Oh well, got 45 lives to spare. 
This introduces what... I guess what I told you guys previously. You switch and grab your presents or get to the door. Whichever you want to look at going for. There's a little shortcut for you guys. And already we can nab our red present. But of course, we need our blue switch. Uh, we need a blue switch in order to complete this. Actually, no we don't. We have to avoid the blue switch. Blue switch is only for the present. And forgetting the key, now that I think about it. Boy, I'm stupid. But let's focus. Let's focus on the real task at hand. And oh, you gotta be kidding! I knew that was gonna Oh, first death. God dang it. I gotta do this level all over again. Because I'm pretty sure I can't get it this time. Oh, I could have made it. Now, be useful. Stupid shy guy. I'm gonna die. Yep, from fire. Ah, oh, I should have landed on that toy shy guy. I thought that was the present. Alright, let's try this again without dying so much. There we go. And we're home free. I should've just did that. Okay, first mistake. Getting burned. Second mistake. Not killing that shy guy. It could have been a third mistake if I hit that ninja. Ah, three lives. It actually makes up for what I've lost. And that's telling you how to do a backflip. If my explanation wasn't clear enough, there it, well, there it is. Although I wouldn't be surprised if it wasn't. I don't know. For some reason, my explanations are never really that great. Oh, jeez. Oh, thankfully I know a shortcut. Instead of going through all this way, I just toss the key, backflip, and hit the door. There you go, you shaved off like maybe 5 seconds off that. 4 or 5 seconds. Stupid firebirds had to be back, didn't they? Now there's two firebirds! There we go. And we are good. Level 3-6 complete! With a good score! And I'm just not going to try. Just, a, I'm just gonna crash that A button and get one life. 3 6. What's this teaching us? That was. That was not accurate. Alright, for this area. I would recommend not hitting the switch at all. That one up there is just a trap. Just keep hitting on that. This part, wait, do not try to risk it. Oh, I do need that. Oh, shoot. That was for the present. Because I am such an idiot. And I died because of me. 
Oh well, right side. I can do this over again and not worry about time. Here we go. Okay, my mistake. Go for the blue switch. Press it. Don't make it. Don't make this go, go a lot faster. I guess it was not a trap. Yes, I can be wrong in my tips. I'm human. I make mistakes. Oh, oh, Jesus, on the other hand. I can be able to make a mistake. Uh, we're not gonna get to into that too much. Let's just grab this key and head on up, and that could have ended badly. Really, really, really bad. Now, let's not die at this part. Or second part. Oh, fine. They can hold it over again. But once again, backflip just makes quick work of this obstacle. Oh, good thing I was almost searching. I know I'm twitching, I don't care. If I can just freaking A. There we go. Really hope I made it. Probably not. Oh no, I did. Barely. And after this mini game, let's go get DK. We'll be able to once again gather our mini Mario's into the toy box. Go mini Mario level. Alright, thing about this course is that you have to be careful. As the sample shows, if you don't press the switch quick enough in this level, your baby Mario's will end up spiked, burned, or various other things. I say various other things because I don't know what else there is. Now let's first make a path so that they don't burn in the lava. Because I want a good score on this. The boss fight himself isn't too hard. It's just this part that may give people a little trouble. Alright, this part. Wait for all your Marios to be up with you. There you go. There you go. Problem solved. Ah, gotcha. Definitely beat the score by a lot. Now for the boss battle. This boss, this boss battle is a little different from the others. It's similar to the first one, but you don't need to rely on switches in order to get your barrels. When the barrels are rolling like that, that means it'll just keep rolling until it hits the lava. Avoid all the lava balls, and DK will eventually just toss a barrel down at you from above. I just love those, those are just so, such easy shots. I wish you'd always do that. When the barrel rolls like that, that means you're gonna be able to grab it. I don't know if handstand will work against the barrels, but I do not want to try right now. And we're good. There we go, level 3 complete. Oh you, it's all you, baby. And beat the score by a lot. And we move on to world 4. The haunted house. The 
The spooky house is what it's really gonna call. Alright, I'll see you guys next time for the spooky house. Now I will show you how to get a better score on 3-4. I'll see you guys later. Woo! <laughs>